fight to the struggle, and the struggle is real. Say neighbor. neighbor. Oh, you can do it better than that. Neighbor. neighbor. Pass is going to talk about when good men fall. Amen. When good men fall. Amen. Thank you, greeters. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. 
Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All falls are not the same. All the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. In this 37th number of Psalms, David, the once upon a time shepherd boy, David. The destroyer of Goliath. This day, yeah, right. the king of Israel, David. Needless to say, that this is the same David that, when the lion and the bear would come to steal his father's sheep, he would go and retrieve them. This day. took issue with a Philistine giant by the name of Goliath talking smack about Israel's God. Right. Needless to say that his resume is impressive. Yes, Lord. He is the author of many of these songs. Right. Out of the 150 songs we know that David was the author of about 73 of them. Thank you. Wow. Amen. And uh, in these 150 songs, these songs, if you've ever read some of them, they cover, listen to this word, a plethora hmm. of topics. Yeah, right. Yeah. And many of these topics provide a roadmap for the behavior of mankind. You remember, the old folk used to take us to church so we could learn how to treat people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. But it has become a road map for the behavior of mankind. Yes. When I'm feeling down in the dumps, I can read a scripture that simply says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 His praise yeah. shall continually be in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. When it seems like I can't make my way out of nowhere, I can read a song Come that says, it. if it had not been for the Lord, yeah. 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 Oh my. Yeah. I was on my side. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it seems like I'm being approached from all different sides. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. But I can read where it says he he prepares a table before me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. In the very presence of my enemies. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And when I feel like I'm not going to make it, what? I can read the same song that says that he anointed my head with oil. Yeah. yeah. And my cup running over. When it seems like I'm not going to make it, I can read it where it says, and, and surely uh, goodness and mercy will follow yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. You do want goodness and mercy follow me. Yeah. Yeah. Many of these psalms, these psalms rather, were written when David was shunned in the eyes of God. It goes without saying that no matter how good you appear to be, uh -huh. you can all stay in room for improvement. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> In 2 Samuel, this same David is reprimanded by Nathan uh -huh. because in all of the good accolades that David had, out of all of the impressive things that David did, some low downness in him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at your neighbor and ask them, are you low down? 
See, those that know won't tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those that won't tell know. That's right. In 2 Samuel, he is reprimanded by Nathan. All right. Because Nathan found out that beloved David had Bathsheba's husband, Uriah, killed yes. so he could be with him. Like so many faults I see in others, they are often mirrors of my own shortcomings. I read somewhere the other day in a little book, it put it like this. It says if you don't want to be judged, what? Go ahead, Pastor then don't judge anybody else. But in spite of his downfall, there is good news. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. In spite of his indiscretions, there is good news. Amen. Because David reminds you and me to trust in the Lord and do good. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yes. Why? Because we want to dwell in the land and be fed. Yes. yes. Tell it, tell it. However, there have been times in your past when some of your so-called friends couldn't wait for you to fall. Oh, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Fact, they were just lying, looking, and waiting. Yeah. So you could fall and they could gloat on your misfortune and simply say it like this, I told you so. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, when we look into the mirror, And we find fault in another. Y'all got to hear this. No. When we look into the mirror. Right. And find fault in another. Yes. There is a disclaimer in small print at the bottom of our own mirror that says objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, David. In this 37 number of songs, watch this. He addresses the wicked four times. Hands. I mean, y'all know some wicked folk. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Just wicked. Yeah. And wicked folk, watch this, it's going to help you. Wicked folk do wicked things. Yes, sir. And things ain't the word I'm on you. Yeah. But wicked folk, they do wicked things. Yeah. And here in the 37 number of Psalms, David addresses the wicked four different times. This is what David says about wicked folk. They plot. They plot. Right. They plot. They plot. I looked up plot for you. Okay. Right. It is a plan in secret, a plan made in secret by a group of people to do something illegal or harmful. Negro be plot. Yeah. You pull up to the gas station. It ain't got to be night. Negro plot. Yeah. Listen. That's why the Bible tells us to watch thou in all things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because yes, folk be creepy. Yeah. yeah. What else does he say about the wicked? Watch this. He said they have pulled out their swords to cast down the poor and the needy. Wow. If you have a heart, <laughs> if you have a heart, then your heart has to go out when you see people that are less fortunate than yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have mercy, Lord. Yes. Have mercy. He says that they, 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 they pull out their sword to cast down the poor and the needy. Yes. But then there's a third thing. Right. He says that the wicked, they will perish. Right. I don't have to fight you. Huh. Because all I need to do is do 
what the old people used to say. Baby, take it to God and pray. Right, right. See, God can do what you can't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God can do what he does, and his hands will be clean all the time. And finally, he tells us another characteristic of the wicked. It's in verse 21. David says that the wicked, watch this, the wicked borrows and never pays back. Hello. Just think. If you had every dime right now in your purse, that every time you loan somebody some money, you got it back. Well, I tell you all, listen, I normally charge it myself and all. But when somebody wants to borrow money, if you have it, let them borrow. Because you know what that means? They come, they can't come back and ask you for no more. That's right. That's you right. messed up your credit, boo. That's right. That's right. So go on on loan it to them. Trust right. me. Yeah. They ain't gonna call you. That's right. <laughs> the wicked borrows and never pays back. Huh. My testimony is real simple, y'all. I try to stay around from around people. As far as north is from south, I try to stay around, stay from around people who never give anything. Listen, listen. Y'all know some people that they they are receivers and not givers. Yes, Lord. All they say is give me, 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 give me. Well, first thing you got to do, you got to remain focused. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. You gotta know that on your job, if there are wicked people, you have to stay focused because you got mouths to feed the bills to pay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Michelle Obama puts it like this: When they go low, you go high. Focus. Basically means I pay particular attention to. So as we go about our daily walk, yes, yes, yes. it is imperative that we pay attention to detail. Yes. And not only that, but watch this. We gotta be very careful yes, yes. about who we walk with. Yes, yes. right. As I get older now, I see the importance of a preschool's game. Back in the day, we used to play a little game called Follow the Leader. Yeah. But as you get older, you have to understand where the leader is going. Everybody, everywhere. Because if you're not careful, you'll end up on a dead end road. Well, I know you wanted me to cut to the chase, I am. The steps of a good man. Well, what, what makes a good man? I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Ladies, oh, yeah. as well as men, they have their own definition of what a good man is. Yeah. They have their own e e examples of what a, what makes a good man. Well, let me throw some stuff out at you. Is he a loving man? Yes, he is. Is he a faithful man? Yes, he is. Is he a man who Provides. Is he a giver and not always a receiver? Yeah. yeah. Does he understand that you work, you hell, you tired too? Does he understand what leave me alone means? Is he a man that provides? Does he have gainful employment with WIT? With benefits? He's doing 
doing something right, I think I'll cover him for That's right. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. David implies that a good man is being strong and courageous. A mighty man or a man who conquers. What David is saying is a strong man, a courageous man, a man who is mighty. Watch this. Still needs to be directed and guided by God. Yes, sir. Right. For sure. Because when all his strength is gone. Right. And he's folded over and going back toward Mother's Earth. He still, even though his hair may be gray, right. and his steps may not be as spry as they used to be in his latter days as his former days, he still needs the direction of God. Yes, You know what happens when you get older? Mm. Nobody is afraid of you anymore. Wow. You know what happens when you get older? You go to a lot of films. But there's something good about living to be 98, 99. You know what that is? You ain't got no peer pressure, baby. When no one fears him anymore, God will establish his pain. Yes, right. Don't you realize now that the older you get, the more you rely on God? Yes, yes. 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 Amen. Finally, as we get older, why you heard this from the old people? They say your steps get a little sharp. Yes. Right. I told you all this some time ago. Beta, I remember when I used to sprint up them steps. Oh, yeah. Now you said, good God. <laughs> Hands, we no longer run upstairs anymore. Right? I was going upstairs this morning, got here with us. Target, you can fall. 
fall. Yolanda, you can fall. And you know what I can say? Ooh, that looked like that hurt. Yeah. But your fall is not my fault. Yeah. But I cannot downplay your fall. What I can do is see if you're okay. Yeah. 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 I don't get to rate the severity of your fall. I don't get a chance to say to you and look at you when you have a skin and blood is running down your knee. I don't have the luxury to say, you know that didn't hurt that bad. Because my fault is, my fault. it's my fault. Yeah. Watch this. But there's great news. Yes, sir. Yeah. How many times do you fall before you learn how to take the training wheels off? Yeah. Some of you got scars right now. Yeah. But you wanted to ride that bike, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you took the bitter with the sweet, didn't you? Yes, sir. You took the good with the bad, didn't you? Yeah. Merciful. And you learned how to ride. Then you got so good, you took your hands all the way But you know what comes after showing out? Yeah. A crash. <laughs> because we all know that pride comes. good news is I won't be down for long. Yes. Because you can't keep a good man down. That's right. That's right. The Bible tells me just from reading this that I have something to look forward to after the fall. Yes, sir. There is life after repossession. Amen. There is life after foreclosure. Yes. There is life after unemployment. Yes. There is life after divorce. Yes, sir. Yes. I have something to look forward to. I can get up because I know that God has my back. Y'all right. come on and stand to your feet. I'm done. The steps of a good man. Y'all want to bow the Lord. I think to looking for a man. But if you are, I don't think asking God for a good man is asking too much. I just want somebody to love me for me. And let me say something to you. He can't love you and don't love your children. Touch your name and say that's a package deal. And you can't love a man who does not love his own mother. Little did he know that it was 
police department acting like a 15-year-old girl. But it gets better. He tells the supposed to be 15-year-old girl, why don't I just come to Houston and marry your mama so I can be closer to you? Wow. Keep on! 